Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I want to do my 21, my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty recommendations slash things that I want to purchase or pick up myself or things that I might already have that I would definitely recommend to you guys. And I'm not going to go through every single day like a lot of YouTubers here do. I'm only going to go through days that I would recommend something or something that I want to get myself. So it's not going to be as long of a video, hopefully and hopefully you guys enjoy this and let's just get on started. So the first day, you guys all know that the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty probably by now is going to go from March 18th to April 7th and all the items are 50% off and there's also like other like platinum perks if you're a platinum member like myself or if you purchase online there's some items that you can get online only and also during the sale during it's either certain days or certain weeks that you can get other items that you can get on sale like a lot of it is the Ulta brand like soaps and washes and stuff like that so I'm not going to go through all of that I'm just going to go through the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale and I usually purchase my stuff online so I will be doing the online slash platinum stuff as well because I am a member of both well not a member of online but you know what I mean so the first day I'm going to start with is March 18th and that's the first day of the sale and the only thing I'm going to recommend on that day is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is the Lights Camera Splashes, and this is the waterproof version of that mascara. But I would recommend the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to anyone and everyone that is looking to pick up a really good mascara. And that mascara is only going to cost you $10, which is actually more than half off. It originally is priced at $23, so that's an amazing deal. Like amazing i really want to pick some up but i am like looking at my mascaras right now i have so many there's no reason for me to pick up another mascara as much as i love that one and i would love to stock up on it there's really no reason for it so i would recommend that to you guys though also on that day there is the lorac mega pro 3 palette on sale on the online only and it's retailing for only $22 and that originally cost $44. So I actually have the Lorac Pro 3 palette and I love it. It was one of my staples. It was one of the first few palettes that I had purchased, but here is a look at it here. I really do enjoy this palette. It's a very neutral palette and I know a lot of people have been going for colors lately, but if you're looking for a really good neutral staple palette in your collection, I would definitely recommend picking this up especially for half off. I was so hoping because I saw like a little spoiler on it. I was so hoping that it would have been the Lorac Pro 2 because I don't have that one yet but of course it was one that I already had so I'm not going to be purchasing that same as this one but I because I already have it you know why would I purchase another one that's silly so yeah, but this was one of my favorite palettes when I first got it. I honestly haven't used it quite a lot lately, but I've been running through all of my eyeshadow palettes and I plan on putting this one in rotation soon, so make sure to check back for that. The next day that I'm actually going to be purchasing something, or the first day that I'll be purchasing something, is actually March 20th, and I want to get all three items. I want to get the Pure Press Foundation that they have. I want to get the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular. And I also want to get the Clinique, like the three-step kit. That one's only like nine bucks. So I haven't tried any of those, and I think it would be a really, really good opportunity for me to try out some new products at half off, especially that Stem Cellular by Juice Beauty. I've been really getting into skincare and really taking care of my skin, my face, my insides, and just trying to you know, refreshed from the inside out. So I plan on picking up all three of those items. The next day on Wednesday, March 21st, I will be picking up two items. I am going to pick up the Smashbox Primer Water. I have not tried that yet, and I have not gotten any kind of samples or anything from that. But since I've used up my Pixie um, Milky Mist, I'm really missing that step in my like beauty routine and I'm missing it because I would use it every single day whether I put on makeup or not and I really feel like I want that 
before makeup and just in the morning refresher and i feel like the primer water would be a really good opportunity to, to try to get that back in my collection and also they have an online only deal and it is the persona palette which i have been eyeing for months now like I know it came out and it wasn't very popular and then people started talking about it and then it like became not popular again but it's $16 you guys it's originally 32 and I was gonna purchase it for 32 but I've been on a very very low buy lately because I knew this sale was coming up so I haven't purchased anything and I am so glad that I waited because now I can get it for $16 as opposed to 32 and that's the online only deal so if you want to purchase that you have to purchase it online and I will tell you that when you have the online only deals they sell out super super fast so you need to do it like first thing in the morning if you plan on getting an online only deal so I really need to make sure I wake up early that day <laughs> and get it because I know that one's gonna sell out. So March 22nd, they actually have the Buxom Full On Lip Creams on sale for $10. I actually have all the colors that I could want or need in the Full On Lip Cream, but I would recommend them to you guys if you have not yet tried them or if you try them and you like them and you wanna pick up some more colors, I would definitely recommend those. The, my favorites are Creamsicle, Mudslide, Dolly, and White Russian. And those are just the ones I can think off of the top of my head that I actually wear on a very regular occasion so I would recommend those to you guys and also they have the Clarisonic Mia 2 on sale and I really want to get that but over $100 is just way too steep for my price level right now especially being on a low buy and then you know trying to go on a no buy after this Ulta 21 days of beauty sale I really don't think that I will be picking that up. I, I honestly, I can tell you I'm not gonna be picking it up, but that's something that I've had my eye on and I would like to pick up, but I feel like I need to put money aside for something like that if I plan on getting it. So if you guys are interested in it, you should totally get it though. I've heard that so many people love it and it's like a staple in their routine, but I just can't seem to spend the money on that right now, especially because I'm trying to save, <laughs> so I won't be spending the over $100 on that today or this day. So on March 24th, they are going to have the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner, and I have never tried that liquid liner, but I have heard from so many people, and I know Paige Cummings from Thrifty Beauty, if you guys have seen her, I'm sure you have, but she loves that eyeliner, and she talks about it all the time, and her winged liner always looks amazing. So since I have been doing eyeliner, liquid eyeliner more often, I am going to be picking up one of those. It's only going to be $11, which is amazing because that's normally $22. I'm not going to spend $22 on a liquid eyeliner when I can buy my Essence one for $3 because that just doesn't make sense. But I will be picking up the Stila Stay All Day liquid liner on March 24th. The next day that I plan on picking up an item is on March 26th. This is a product that I know and I love. It is the Becca First Light Priming Filter and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. So I'm definitely gonna pick up the purple one, which is the First Light Priming Filter. I have been using two samples of them in my Project Pan 8 by Easter Project Pan, and I am obsessed with this primer. Like, this is the only primer I wanna use. I know I have others to get through, but honestly, it's the only primer I've been reaching for and the only primer I've really been enjoying using, and I I actually see a difference on my skin. I feel like my skin has way less texture and the dry spots are not even close to being as dry as they have been. So I'm really enjoying that primer and I will be picking up the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Now if I'm just in the mood and wanting to pick up the backlight priming filter i might because i've been using the tarte bb cream and i feel like the backlight priming filter with the glowiness is going to be a lot better to use with this bb cream um i've been using this as a foundation it is actually what i'm wearing today as my foundation and i love that it's not full coverage but I think that the backlight priming filter will be better with this. I do have some left in my collection, which I plan on trying with this. And if I like it, then I'll probably pick that one up as well. But if you guys do want a full review on the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Cream and the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, I got the hydrating 
foundation. Um, let me know if you guys want that review because I plan on doing one, but if you guys want it, then I can kind of get it up a little bit sooner. But I wanna test those out for quite a while before I get my full thoughts on those products. So let me know. Also on March 26th, they have the First Aid Beauty Love Your, Love Your Fab Skin Set. And it comes with five different First Aid Beauty products. I have been obsessed with my First Aid Beauty face cleanser that I have. It's actually in my shower right now and it's replaced my Burt's Bees Soap Bark and Chamomile face cleanser just for the moment being. Not saying I'm not, I'm getting rid of that one. I'm not. But this one has been amazing. It is the only face cleanser that I brought with me to Florida and I was so happy with it. I have not gotten any breakouts since I've been using it and I've been so incredibly happy with my skin lately. It's amazing. I know that I'm using some different products right now with my sample project pan, but I plan on getting that First Aid Beauty set, which is, by the way, online only as well. So honestly, I think those Becca primers are going to sell out very, very quickly because people love those primers, let's be real, especially being half off. You just can't go wrong with those. So I plan on picking up the First Aid Beauty skin set online along with those Becca primers and that's what I'm going to pick up on the 26th and that is like my most exciting day as of right now <laughs> I'm looking forward to honestly if I miss any of those other days I'm not going to be super disappointed if I miss this day I will be disappointed I'm telling you right now I will be disappointed and upset and mad and sad all at the same time anyways so on March 28th, they actually have something that I plan on getting for one of my family members and it is the Estee Lauder Advanced Repair Night Cream. I actually gave her my bottle that I had for Christmas last year, not 2017 and 2016, and she called me and asked me for another one. And those are very expensive. So I didn't have another one to give her because I don't even know how I acquired that one. I think somebody gave it to me for whatever reason and I gave it to her, but she loved it. And they have a sample of that going on sale for $8. So I might pick up a couple of those samples for her. I know she loves them and I know that she'll appreciate them. I don't plan on using it to be completely honest, but I think she will get a lot of use out of it and she will really appreciate it. And I know that she probably won't look at the sale and try to buy any of it because I don't know, I just don't think she will. So I think I'm gonna pick a couple of those up for her and be a super good niece because I'm like that and I'm awesome. Duh. <laughs> so the only other thing that I even like slightly had my eye on to purchase is on April 3rd and it is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten blushes and I really love the one I have. I will get it for you. I really love this one. I actually have my color in Tropic Hue. Sorry, I have a lidocaine patch on my wrist because my wrist has been killing me lately, but this is the blush in Tropic Hues and this one is one that is for sale. This was actually featured in one of my top five blushes. I really do love this blush and I just, I don't know, I don't wear it enough. And I think that's because it's this color right here. And I think that's because the packaging is so bulky. Like, if you guys look, the dome, I mean, I have used it quite significantly, but the dome doesn't even go up that much. And when you close the packaging, it like doubles in size. So I think that's one huge pet peeve I have about this product, but Nonetheless, it is a fantastic product. So this is the only other day that I was thinking about getting anything or picking up anything extra. I don't need any more blushes, to be totally honest. And if I happen to stumble upon them or a friend of mine is ordering that day, I might say, hey, grab me the pink grapefruit one because that's the one I've been eyeing is pink grapefruit. <sighs> I saw it last year and it sold out super quick. But anyways, that's the only other one that I'm thinking that I might be interested in, but honestly, other than that, all the other days just don't excite me. There isn't really anything that I want. I have the MAC Fix Plus Prime and Prep Spray, and honestly, I don't think it's worth the, what is it, like $16 that it's gonna be. I do like it, but I like other things more, and other things that cost less, even less than $16. So, to me, it's not worth buying something just because of the name brand. There is another day that there's like a MAC set going on sale where it has a lip liner, a 
gloss I think it is and a lipstick but the lipsticks in Velvet Teddy and you guys know I already purchased Velvet Teddy so I don't need another one so honestly most of the other stuff are things that I either already have or have tried and don't want or have tried and wouldn't recommend <laughs> or things that I'm just really not interested in trying so I feel like I'm going to do really, really good on this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I don't plan on picking up 16 of the Buxom, blush, or Buxom lip glosses, and I don't plan on picking up any more than maybe one or two of these if I even pick them up that day. Okay, you guys, but that is all for this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty recommendation slash what I'm going to get slash what I think you should get. <laughs> And honestly though, just because things are on sale does not mean you need to buy them. Just because I see that, you know, the Mac Fix Plus is on sale, it doesn't mean that I need it. I have one that's more than half full in my collection, so why do I need another one, especially when I don't use it very often? And I was thinking of the Lorac Contour Kit on March 27th, and honestly, I was thinking about that even more and I have a contour color that I love and that works perfect for me and I use every single day. So why am I going to spend the money on something that I may or may not use? And not only that, but I have other contour kits in my collection that I really, really like, but I'm just not using because I have so much makeup. So to be totally honest, you don't need to buy anything. If you see something on sale that you've been really eyeing or really looking forward to, go ahead, pick it up. It's on sale. Duh. But if it's not something that you're even remotely excited about, why would you even bother? Oh, but anyways, that is my two cents on that. Really, truly, just because it says sale doesn't mean you need to jump up and run and go to a sale. You know, if you don't make it to the store or if you don't make it online to purchasing it, guess what? You'll forget about it the next two or three days. It'll be over. The FOMO will be over. And I know with me, I think about, oh my gosh, I might miss out on it. I have to get up early for something like the Persona palette or the First Aid Beauty set. I really want those products and the Becca primer. But if I miss out on them, it's not the end of the world. Guess what? I can just continue using what I already have in my collection and then pick those up at a later time, maybe at a... Sephora VIB sale or the next Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale that's coming up in November, you know, and it just doesn't make sense for you to spend all your money on makeup. <laughs> as much as I love makeup and promote the beauty community and love the beauty community, it doesn't mean that we need to spend everything we have on makeup and beauty and, you know, products, things that are going to get used and get thrown away. So, I don't know. I've been really turning a different way with my thoughts and feelings about a lot of things. And the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is definitely one of them. I knew that there would be items that I really wanted, like the Persona palette. I've been really, I've been looking into that for months now and it's finally on sale and I'm going to pick it up. But other things, I just, there's no point of wanting <laughs> to try out everything when you're not even interested in some of these products. You just see, oh my God, they're on sale. I want to try it. And I just don't feel that way anymore. I get a lot of <laughs> products in subscription boxes and I don't use all of them. And when I do use them, I'm either like, meh, it's okay. Or, oh, it's not even a good enough size for me to actually have an opinion on. Or it's something that I would never even try in the first place. And it's too expensive for me to buy. Like the philosophy hope in a jar or whatever that was like $60 I'm not gonna spend $60 on a moisturizer it's just not gonna happen not at this time you know when I'm a regular working mom with a regular house and a husband that works and a cat and two dogs you know it just it doesn't make sense so I want to be more conscious about my purchases and the Ulta 21 days of beauty is definitely my first or my you know of my step of a few steps that I am going to be taking and I really have been writing down the things that I really want and some of those things came up on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale so I will be picking up those things but other than that I'm not going to be picking up anything extra. I'm not going to pick it up just because it's on sale and I'm not going to pick up 15 other blushes because I don't need that many. I have a million blushes. I'm literally looking at my blush drawer right now and I have a million blushes in there and I don't need any more. So <sighs> that is my mindset on that and I can always pick it up at a later date especially because most of these items are not limited edition items. 
I think every item on there actually is a permanent item. So if you ever wanted a later date, just go ahead, save up your money and pick it up at a later date. Sneezy kitty, you okay? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Breathe. It's okay. It's okay. Mantis had really bad kennel cough when he was a kitten. He was actually um, taken away from his mother really young and he was dropped off at a local humane society and I adopted him from the humane society so every once in a while he gets that like sneezy cough thing and he just can't get over it and I just talk him through it and pet him and tell him it's okay and we get through it don't we Mantis? I'm the best kitty ever. Anyway, so I hope that this has inspired you to really look at your wants and look at the sale ad and really see what you really, really want and what you can let pass by that you don't need. And I know that some of the things that I told you that I'm going to be picking up, I probably will be on that day and I'll be like, you know what? I really don't need this. So I plan on doing a Ulta 21 Days of Beauty check-in with you guys and showing you what I actually ended up purchasing and what I ended up just letting fly by and not even realizing or noticing that I didn't get it because I forgot or whatever other reason that my mind can possibly think of. And yeah, so I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.